Nancy, I'm so excited for you to take it away, especially on today's topic of our family stories. You know, um, really love this idea, really love the idea of having your family stories for year to come, years to come, because they are so important to us. So Nancy, take it away. Okay. I am so happy to see all of you here. Some surprises, which makes me even happier. Um, I'm going to share my screen. And here we go. So there are not a lot of good things that happened from COVID, but there is one good thing. We all learned how to use Zoom. And I'm gonna give you some tools to record your family stories using Google Maps, YouTube, and some other fun websites. Hang on. You can use the arrow bu button, Nancy. I'm trying to do, it worked when I was by myself. This is just okay. So I'm going to introduce you to Google Maps. And I was on a Zoom with my mother in law. I'm on the top right, she is underneath. Uh, my mother in law is in her early 90s. She lives in Southern California now, but she was born in West Orange, New Jersey. She remembered her childhood address. I put it in Google Maps, 65 Delavan Avenue, and her house is still there. Um, her Jewish family was in the bottom of the middle house. There was an Italian family above, and I heard some stories about the Italian mother, but I asked her to tell me a little more. She was one of the most amazing cooks and just the, the Italian mama that everybody loved. She was so dear. Her husband had passed away, I think, while we were living in the in, in that house. Mm -hmm. And she raised those four kids. Let me see if I remember their names. There was Carmela, um, Marie, Anna, and the fourth was a boy named Benny. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So what I love about this was not just that she remembered her childhood address and the house was still there, but she kind of surprised herself remembering all those kids' names. And remember, we're, we're recording this on Zoom and it gets better. I promise. Watch me. An interesting, yes. Yes. House to the right, which huh? would 67. You see it? Yes. This one? Yes. Uh huh. Downstairs was Mrs. Medley. My piano teacher and her daughter was my best friend, Frances Medley. So how much do you love that her piano teacher's name was Mrs. Medley? I just love that. So as Kelly said, I am a tech tutor. And a few years ago, I was working with a woman um, in her 80s. We had a little time after her lesson and I asked where she grew up. She said she grew up in Shaker Heights and she remembered her childhood address. So we found it and I started asking questions and she said the top left room was her room. The kitchen was underneath. Saturday mornings, her mother would make pancakes and she would smell the pancakes coming up the stairway. And then she said, I got out of bed. I was wearing my Dr. Denton's and I sit on the, sat on the stairway on my bum and I went all the way down the stairway 
And I said, that's a great memory, but what are your Dr. Denton's? They were her pajamas. Uh -huh. We Googled Dr. Denton's. So yeah. we just got to start asking the questions and uh, all these stories come out. So what if you put an address in Google Maps and this comes up? That is not a 1950s house. Someone remodeled it. Never fear. Go down to the compass on the right. And look across the street, there's a park with these very beautiful three trees. I bet they have been there for decades. Perhaps that person remembers running around and playing in this park. Circle around a little more. I see some original houses up the block. Maybe they remember who lived there. Maybe their best friend was there. You never know. But I love Google Maps just because you really can circle around and see a whole neighborhood. Now, you don't have to know the childhood address. How about scanning some old photos? So there's me at the top on Zoom. There's mom right underneath. Mom, there you are. Um, this is a photo of her family. Bottom left is my grandma. Bottom right is my Uncle Harry. In the middle, there are my great grandparents, Ida and Ben. But I didn't know a lot about my great aunts and uncles on the top row. So I asked her about them. Back row, um, the man with the mustache on the right mm -hmm. is the oldest child. His name was Jack in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody here was born in Europe. They were born in uh, Latvia in the town of Mitau. Uncle Jack, and my grandfather, Benjamin, uh, worked together uh, at sheet metal working in the town of Nitau. So she told me lots and lots more. Um, the family came over in steerage class, went through Ellis Island. And then at the very end of the recording, Mom, you put your finger up like this and you said, show this to their cousins. They should know where they're from. Now you have met my mother and my mother-in-law and you know that they like to talk. What if you're interviewing your great uncle and he's not so talkative? He doesn't really want to tell you much. You have to ask the right questions. For example, what was his favorite movie theater? What was his hobby? Or how did he meet his spouse? So I was with the client and I asked her what movie theater she went to when she was a kid. And she told me Carthay Circle movie theater. I clicked on images. I looked around and clicked and clicked and clicked. She said, that's it. I snuck out of the house once, she said, to go there and see Gone with the Wind. By the time the movie was over, she couldn't find her car and she had to walk home and sneak out of the house the next morning to find her car. It was a great story. I didn't hear much about the film, but she loved telling me she lost her car. Now you have met. Um, I also was working with a gentleman a few years ago and he hired me to find his buddies from high school. We found most of them by Googling their business or where they lived, but we couldn't find one of them. 
and he hung his head down and he said, shoot, I wish I, know, I knew where Joe was. We used to drive around in my dad's car. So I said, what kind of car did your dad have? He told me. I went to Google and I typed in red Buick Skylark 54. And then I clicked on images and I said, does that look familiar? And he leaned forward and he looked at this one and he said, that's it. And all of a sudden he started smiling and he told me that they changed the chassis on that one. Uh, they had chrome fins stuck on the rear fenders and um, he just went on and on and on. So you don't necessarily need old photos. Um, ask them what their first car was, who taught them to drive. Um, it just made this man so very happy. I went to Google. So here comes my favorite part. Ask them what their favorite singer and song was. So once you find their favorite song, go to YouTube, type it in the search bar, Ray Charles, Hit the Road Jack, karaoke, and lead vocal. That's very important. Um, we're all muted here. But if you want to sing along, I think that's a great idea. Here we go. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. So I love this. Who doesn't like a sing-along? And uh, you can ask them, what did you like about the song? Did you ever hear him sing in person? Did you have posters on your walls? And again, the stories will be coming out. So remember, you type in the artist's name, the title, very important to type in karaoke and lead vocal. It takes a few minutes to find, but it is absolutely worth it. <clears throat> now I'm going to interrupt myself because if this was three years ago, I would be doing this in person and I would see one of you clapping or I would hear someone singing along or someone reaching across the table and say, you know, I like what she's talking about. Right now you're all muted. I only see four of you. So if you can go down to your reaction button and give me a thumbs up or a heart, I would be so happy. I know you can do it. Let's see who's doing it. <laughs> My mom doesn't know. That's okay, mom. But thanks, Kelly. <laughs> now I'm feeling the love. Okay. Moving on. So I showed you some tools, Google Maps, old photos, YouTube. Uh, just asking questions, but how do you really do it? When you're interviewing someone, have your questions ready. If you've scanned an old photo, put it on your screen before you get on Zoom so you don't have to hunt around for it. And if you have kids or grandkids, don't wait for them to ask you. Share your stories with them. But how do I record it? If you're the host, there'll be a record button at the bottom. You can pause or stop and it will save the recordings to your documents. Now, as I was putting this presentation together, I had an idea. What if you have a small family reunion or a small college reunion and you ask each person to put up a photo of your time together. And each person would be able to share their screen. So then I'm gonna get a little techie here. 
you would go down to share screen. There's an upward pointing V and you'll click one participant can share at a time. You'll get this other window that says how many participants can share, only one. Underneath who can share, all participants. And I just think that would be a fun little Zoom party. So all of this was fun and games and happy, but uh, I did something else with my photos and my music that I wanna tell you about. This is me and my dad. I was five. <laughs> In his late seventies, my dad had dementia and I needed a way to connect with him. So fortunately, I had family photos and I went over with my iPad and I showed him this photo and I don't know if he knew who I was, but he took his fingers and kissed his fingers and put him on his mother's cheek. He remembered. Then, so my dad worked in construction and his first big job in the 60s was building the Aquarius Theater in Hollywood. And uh, so I grew up listening to the Hair soundtrack. And I would visit my dad in his boarding care and I would, list, I would play the soundtrack of Hair. When the moon is in the seventh house And Jupiter aligns with Mars Then peace will guide the planets And love will steer the star This is the dawning of the age So he wasn't looking at me Sometimes his eyes weren't open, but I could tell by his expression that he was connecting to the music. He also loved the Smothers Brothers. So I would put these videos, oh, Mimi's having fun over there. Um, so I would put these up and, and he would a little bit. Now my dad, now my dad was a Marine and my brother and sister and I were raised on the halls of Montezuma. So uh, I didn't even need the words for this one. That one always perked him up, made me happy. So record your family stories, get some photos. I hope you don't need them like I needed them, but um, it just helped me connect with my dad. And what Kelly said is I really, I love this presentation, but what I really do is help people with their phones and their computers. Um, my info's at the bottom and I work with iPhones and iPads and jitterbug phones, Kindles, Macs, and PCs. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. I know some of you were singing along. Yay. Um, I'm going to stop my share and I'll see all of you. And I just wonder if we have questions or you want me to find a song for you. What do you say, Kelly? I say that people are welcome to come off mute if they want to give an address or give a song or something of that sort. I see Mimi being all excited. Mimi, what do you want? Talk to us, girl. I, I, I just want to tell Nancy she's amazing. No, no, I was just waiting to be able to, like Sadie's not nodding. That was fantastic. I have a to-do list now to do, and you are such a psychologist. I mean, you are just, uh, uh, just to think of how to draw people out like that. I took lots of notes because I 
Wow, I could use everything you said. Thank you. Thank you. Marsha. Marcia? Well, I don't have that level of family members any longer. They've all passed. But what you've inspired me to do is to get together with my cousins and my brother and start sharing these family memories. I have 17 first cousins. Some of them are not alive any longer. But to just realize the value of what you've done and collecting this, Nancy, this was fabulous. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Does anybody have an address that they remember from back in their child? Oh, see, I knew I'd get Mimi to go. Oh, I remembered and I wrote it down in my day timer as we were talking. Okay, it's in Chicago, Illinois. It was when I was in grade school before we moved to Peoria, Illinois. What? And um, it was 6725 North Campbell Avenue. Okay, let me see what I can do here. C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L. -L. And I remember that because in grade school, you had to know your address and you had to say it a bunch of times. <laughs> okay, so can you see, can you see my Google Maps? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can see everything that you're doing right now. Do Google Maps, yep. Okay. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, tell me the address again, please. It was in Chicago. It's 6725 North, and the North is very important in Chicago, Campbell Avenue, C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L -L Avenue, uh, Chicago, Illinois. There it is. It's a little bungalow. <gasps> yes, and all the houses were, that's mine. Oh my God, that was my house. And along the driveway, there were lilies of the valley and I fell in love with that smell. And I'm always looking for that perfume because of the driveway, because of the lilies of the valley. It was, I think it was this red house right there in the middle. Okay, here's the gate. Look. I think it was. Oh, they have something in the backyard, maybe? Now that's 6722. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It was every, all the houses looked the same on that block. <laughs> there you go. And then if you if you don't see the photos on the side, there's a compass at the bottom right that you can turn around. It's oh. the whole neighborhood. Yep. We had people, we had friends living right across the street in the apartment building. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Libby Eisenstein. Oh my God, this is great. It's all flooding back now. You're right. It floods back. Great. Thank you. You're and one reminder is to start the recording before they give you the address. Because did you see how excited Mimi got? <laughs> Even before we started showing her the address? I mean, how cool is that? Does anybody else want to have or share something? Okay, I just saw your your chat that you didn't see. It's okay, name. Nancy. Yeah. Don't okay. worry about it. Moving on. Moving on. Okay, all good. Oh, Elaine, you don't want to turn mute on or off. I just wanted to say hello to all my cousins and friends. <laughs> and during this a uh, wonderful presentation. I got a phone call that cousin Bobby Edelman couldn't get in, but he tried. He never got the, um, what do you call it? The link. The link that you click on, right, right. Hi, Nancy. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, you, you sang along with Ray Charles because that was my favorite part. Can you can you find um, Grandma's house? Ten thirty Alfred Street. Yes, I get it. I get it for you. And this is why Nancy is Nancy's tech help because I would never be able to figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 
Is this what I wanted? Google Maps. Uh, South Alfred Street. There we go. Oh my God. Wow. Yep. Yeah, they ah, memories. The lawn. They changed the front lawn. That's it. Mm -hmm. They took the tree out mm -hmm. in the front. Yes. Wow. Thank Here's you. Here's another one, Nancy. Yes. 982 Paxton Road, Cleveland, Ohio. Okay, what number is it? 982 Paxton Road. I lived there for one year. Cleveland? Jeffrey lived downstairs. <laughs> uh oh, I don't know about that one. There it is. That's the lot that it was standing <laughs> at. Well, <laughs> this one, it says but Mary lived in this house next door upstairs. Yes, that's where Aunt Mary lived. Wow. Well, that one says 980. Well, we were at 982. I'm afraid the maintenance has not been too good over the years. <laughs> okay, there's your street. Oh. Huh. Nancy, that's very cool. What a different way to see the world and to see things that you remember. I was trying to go back through my addresses and I lived in a lot of them and I can't remember any of them off the top of my head, but what a fun way for us to see and do and explore in a way we never thought possible. And so I, with all of us, wanna say thank you for sharing this knowledge of something that is totally different than we would have ever thought to do. And now my siblings, um, and my aunts and uncles, this is something that, like Mimi said, I definitely want to contact them and say, I know you're not Zoom savvy, but I am somewhat. Let's play a game, you know, and see where it goes, because this is so cool. And to have it be recorded. Are there any questions that anybody has for Miss Nancy? Patricia. So does it apply only to the U.S.? Not at all. It's I'm, I'm thinking about Singapore. <laughs> oh boy. Do you have an address in Singapore? Nine Napier Road. Oh my goodness. Here we go again. Okay, tell me again, please. Nine Napier, N-A-P-I-E-R Road. Oh my goodness, something's happening. That is oh, not- It's gone. <laughs> oh, it's not there. <laughs> what was there? It was a, a house built up on stilts. Oh. Um, but it was a single residence. Hmm, that's too bad. Thank you. <laughs> Does any of that look familiar? No. <laughs> okay. It's completely not, changed not, not then. Not at all. <laughs> what a cool way to see it though. I mean, to know that your world has changed and our world has changed like it has. Well, mm -hmm. any other questions before we, uh, we uh, head on out for the day? Nancy, this was so much fun. Can we all give her a round of applause for showing us this? And as mentioned prior, you know, one of the most special things that I have um, from my grandparents is a little book that I wrote. And I said, as you're sitting, you know, watching TV and you're just relaxing, please write down some stories. They don't have to be in order. They don't have to be anything specific. And I got the most amazing stories out of my grandparents and they are cherished right now. I, I had a book for my grandma and a book for my grandpa and those stories are cherished. And 
I can't even imagine how cherished those stories would be if you were able to do this on Zoom and have it recorded and to hear their voices. Because I can hear their voices when I'm reading them, but I can't hear them like you are here now. So this is so special and what a great way. And if it's not you doing it, you can talk to your family about doing it. They're the ones who can help you or you can hire Nancy <laughs> and have the family be on there to tell those stories. But it doesn't have to be you. Just talk to your family. Like I said, we have this video, um, it is being recorded. So if there are any questions, if they wanna know how to get in touch with Nancy, um, they can do so. But Nancy, this was fantastic. What a love for what you do and we cherish the fact that you shared this with us and how special you are. Thank you so much. Thank you. This was wonderful. Thank you everyone for joining. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.